All right, let's demo uh, doing static deploys on, uh, let's work Let's work with GitHub Actions and Dino Deploy. All right, so we're gonna create a new project and it's gonna be uh, CTL, better duck. I need that. We're going to static here and this, we're gonna deploy this guy right here. And this is the way we're gonna do it. So yeah, demo static, here we go. All right, so it's gonna be, let me see if I can just pull it right off of here. Okay, so we're gonna say, all right, let's get our token. First of all, let's get that token. Let's go here, access tokens down here. I'm gonna delete this and add a new one. Deploy CTL. Enter. Okay. Copy that. And I'll just say export. Um, let's do this here. Okay, we'll export DNA deploy token is that. And now that'll link this terminal to my account. And uh, in order to be able to uh, to use it with the account, I'll have to link the project. Okay. And then I'll just say DNA deploy. That's done. Should get a link to it. There we go. All right, and then we should be here. Okay. Now we have deployments, and that's that one. Just make sure that is working. Okay. We also want settings. I'm gonna see if I can get this to work. So we don't have it in a GitHub. Excuse me. We don't have it in a GitHub right now. So let's create a new GitHub for it. All right, so we'll say repo uh, new, okay, Dino uh, demo static. All right, let's create a repository. Say um, get init uh, get status. Uh, this was just for temporary. I'm going to remove that rm-rf sample. And then uh, just going to close that. Don't save. And we're going to say uh, <clears throat> fig. All right. So fig run and git push. So it's Dino Demo Static. My goodness. Is my Wi Fi okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
it's taking so long right now. Okay, main, automatic. There you go. See if I can just like make an update here. Yes, hello, this is dog. And then It's not linked. I don't. I don't know how to get that connected there. Automatic. The automatic link there. It says search files. I don't know why it's saying search files. And no branches found. Search files. Why is it saying search files? I don't get that. Won't let me link it. I don't know why. Um, it's really fucking gay. Um, to get it up to enable automatic clone up push. There we go. And then uh, I don't think that's gonna work. supposed to work but let's okay so we got this working let's make another um, let's let's do the V one okay all right so CD. all right so CD Vite. okay and then we have a special script let's see here it is Build. Okay. All right, so we could say um, Dino task serve. Open that, and we got. Okay. All right, that's serving dist. Now I could say cd dist, and I could say um, deploy CTL, but change the product, or, I mean, uh, the project, I mean, let's see, what's our, uh, we have to create a project, right, so, there's no, products, let's do a new product, we're going to say, so an empty, let's say careful goat, Okay. 
Okay, so that works. Now, what we want to do is connect it with Git, but first we have to create a new repository. Uh, we're going to call this Dino, Dino Demo V. Say fig run git push. All right, and now we should be able to get it. D Dino demo beat. Okay, so here. CTL, what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just use this. Okay, we'll say I'll make, make der p get up or close and then touch dot get up or close. It's called a deploy dot yaml. Goodness. And then this is what we need to change there. So it's going to be You have an error in your syntax line eight. Oh goodness, that's probably why. Okay. Okay. This is not really the best way to copy stuff. Oh goodness, okay. That's not really working. Okay. Let's just try. Let's just try that. That should work. Let's take a look at what is going on here. It's name deploy on push jobs deploy runs on Ubuntu permissions write and read. That's automatically linked. It's linked here. Once you link it, then it has the permissions. You don't need to like use the uh, deploy CTL that we were doing. Like we're you know export the uh, export the token and uh, you know, the Dino deploy token and then use use that token in order to do the deploy from here. Once it's linked, once this GitHub is linked to, to Dino deploy, it can just run your, um, oh goodness, did that, did that fail? Oh no, what happened? Error, unable to parse config JSON, because text cannot more than one JSON line to, oh. 
Yeah, I know what I do. Um, okay, demo, demo. Let's get up in here. So, yeah, um, so it has access, and then here's the steps. This is the real item. So you clone the repo, Dino, install Dino, and then run that build task that we did, uh, Dino task build, and then uh, deploy CTL, which is basically, yeah, it does not need the, um, oh my god, build again? Project you are requesting was not found. Oh. Uh, late duck sixty three. Oh, uh, Dino. Okay, Dino beat. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, the um, the deploy CTL does not need an explicit like you don't need to like set an environmental variable or anything like that because it, it's already linked. It's already linked here, so it has access. Your your I should say this repo has access, so that works. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just refresh. Look at deployments. We got a new one. Sixteen seconds ago. We don't need a promo to prod, it's already prod. Take a look at that, there we go. Okay, if we could say, we could say V and React, we'll like put a, uh, an, uh, excuse me, an exclamation point. And then we'll... Look at that. So yeah, that's pretty much the long and short of it. Um, this is the script, and it's based on deploy CTL. Of course, you don't need the token if they're linked. And then um, actually creating a V project is a special kind of script for Dino Run. And then um, as far as like instead of package JSON, you have Dino JSON, and instead of saying like yarn. Um, build you say Dino task singular and then the name of the script and there we go boom and then let's double check that oh, it's probably because it's uh, okay it's a new it's a okay so these are all so this is different from this which is different from this so this will give you with the exclamation point and that will give you the previous deployment. Oh, okay, yeah, without the exclamation point. So you have all the all the um, the branch histories there. So that's probably that's pretty useful too.